Ben. Hi, Holly. Are you ready to come camping? Yes, please. Um, why have you brought an orange? It's to scare off gnomes. You know what they say. To scare off a gnome, bring an orange from home. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, you don't want to bring a gnome on a camping trip. They talk and talk and talk and talk. Yes, gnomes are just like elves. Absolutely not. Gnomes are greedy, boring creatures who talk and talk and talk and Goodness, talk and... Goodness, look at the time. We really should be going. Bye, Mummy and Daddy. Bye, Nanny. Goodbye. Have fun. Watch out for those gnomes. Don't worry. We've got our orange. Here's the timetable. One, set up camp. Two, hang up washing. Three, make a campfire. Four... Dad, we're on holiday. Try to relax, Mr Elf. I'll do my best, Mrs Elf. Here we are. yippity doo da <laughs> <laughs> Will there be any dancing? Can we sing songs? There will be no dancing or singing, just camping. Here's the tent. Shall I magic the tent up for us, Mr Elf? Holly, I'd rather you didn't do any magicking. Remember, this is an elf camp. Elves have been camping for hundreds of years. We can put tents up with our eyes closed. Wow! One elf tent. Hooray! Lovely. Now we're on holiday. Yes. And that means there's holiday work to be done. Holiday work? Next on the list, hang out the washing. But we've only just arrived. Why do you need to hang out the washing? A campsite can never be too clean and tidy. I'll slice the orange. Mrs Elf, how do oranges keep gnomes away? It's the smell. Gnomes hate the smell of oranges. Oh. There. Now we're safe. Next on the list, collect sticks for the campfire. Here are some sticks. Here are some more. OK, that's enough sticks. <laughs> oh. Hello there. A gnome. Mind if I join you? Uh, well... Thank you. I'll only stay for a week or two. Oh, no. But... We had an orange. Yes. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the smell of this orange. But gnomes hate oranges. Normally, yes. But I'm on a balanced diet, you see. Ah, oh, here we are. The royal picnic spot. Hooray! <laughs> What's this? It's food for the picnic. You mean you actually bring food with you to a picnic? Uh, yes. It's probably some strange elf custom, Your Majesty. Oh, oh how charming. I've got plenty of food for everyone. Thanks, Ben. But fairies don't eat elf food. We have our own special fairy food. Here it is. Oh, but the basket is empty. You've forgotten your food. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Ben. It isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. It can give us anything we want. Let's start with the drinks. I feel like some sparkling fairy juice. Magic basket oh so old. Let's have fairy juice sparkling and cold. Wow! Oh, yes, young elf. It is rather impressive. Ben, perhaps you would like to choose the drinks for the children. It can be anything you like. Anything? Can I really ask for anything? Yes, anything at all. Hmm. OK. Lemonade, please. Isn't that a bit boring and ordinary? Elves like lemonade. And I'm an elf. <laughs> but, Ben, you can have anything you like in the whole wide world. In that case, lemonade with a dollop of ice cream. Are you sure you wouldn't like something more exotic? OK. Lemonade with two dollops of ice cream. <laughs> Good choice, Ben. Magic basket, please. Lemonade with lots of ice cream. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks, Holly. Morning time. <laughs> Good morning, tadpoles. <gasps> the tadpoles have got legs. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, Holly, but it'll be even more amazing later. to show you something. What is it, Holly? Come and see. <laughs> <gasps> I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? <laughs> oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <laughs> where did this come from? <laughs> <laughs> really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <laughs> ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. <laughs> Here, froggies, <laughs> this way. <laughs> 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 this is my ring And these are my toys Great, 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 great Here's our picnic basket Ooh, I love picnic baskets you just tell them what you want and they magic up food. <laughs> this is an elf picnic. There won't be any magic. Oh. Mrs Elf always makes a really lovely picnic. Thanks, Mr Elf. But of course you made the picnic this time. Didn't you make it? Oh. oh. What's wrong? We forgot to bring the picnic. We just brought an empty basket. But that's what I was saying. We fairies always take an empty basket on picnics. Magic basket, please. Can I have, um, spaghetti bolognese? Oh, it's still empty. That's because... It isn't a magic basket. It's just an empty basket. Can't it even magic us a packet of crisps? No. Oh. Uh, Holly, remember what I said about not needing any magicking today? Yes, Mr. Elf? Well, this is an emergency. So if you wouldn't mind doing a bit of. Magicking! You want me to do magicking? Yes, yes please. please! Hmm, I do know a spell for. magic jelly? <gasps> no! Not magic jelly! Right, too dangerous. Hmm, I could try an ice cream spell. That's easy. And there's no chance of that spell going wrong? Silly Ben. Spells nearly always go a bit wrong. That's what makes them fun. Well, without magic, we're not going to have anything to eat. That's right. Please, Holly, do your spell. Abracadabra! Ice cream! I'm afraid it's only vanilla. I don't know how to magic other flavours yet. That's fine. Vanilla is my favourite. <laughs> Delicious! Maybe magic can be useful sometimes. Thank you, Princess Holly. <laughs> You're welcome. Have you found lots of things for making toys? Uh, not yet. It's a bit dark. I'll go down and take a closer look. Oh, dear. I think the great elf tower is empty. Oh. oh. Mummy, Daddy, can I have some more jelly, please? <laughs> <laughs> this is a really Dad, nice I can oh, hear big people. Sandwiches. We must stay out of their way. Big people have very big feet. Come on, Rex. 
That was a lovely picnic. Let's tidy up. OK, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. <coughs> That's the sound of big people. Quick, get out of the bin. Huh? What was that? I said, get out of the bin. It's not a bin. It's the Great Elf Tower. Just get out of there, you silly old elf. Excuse me. <laughs> Ooh, a little fairy. Uh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, and a smelly little fairy. I am not a smelly little fairy. I'm a smelly little elf. <laughs> it's that little girl we met at the farm. Yes, it's Lucy. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We're having a picnic. Look, Gaston, it's Rex. <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho, lift ho, lift, 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 lift. Catch ho, catch, catch ho, catch, 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 catch. But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow, I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Wow! Look at that tree. There are little windows in it. I wonder if there are any fairies inside. Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> <laughs> Look! Ah, an acorn. Now, what does an acorn grow into? Is the answer an oak tree? I was asking the children. Yes, yes, but an oak tree is the right answer. What the wise old elf is trying to say is that this little acorn will grow into a huge oak tree. Ooh! Cool! Can we see it grow now? Oh, oh, it will take years and years to grow into a tree. Oh. We could give it some magical help. Nanny Palum, we agreed. No magic. But look at the children's sad little faces. They'd so like to see the acorn grow into a tree. No. Please, Nanny Plum, make the acorn grow into a tree. Yes, yes. please, Nanny Plum. I'd love to, but it's up to the wise old elf. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well. I'll just do a little spell. Stand back, children. Just a small tree, please. Yes, yes. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow, little acorn grow, grow, grow! Nanny Palum, is that your idea of a small tree? Um, it is big, isn't it? But I can easily make it smaller. No, no, it's fine as it is. Let's move on. 
Next up, mushrooms. Ah, oh, good. Mushrooms. Who can tell me what this is? A toadstool. Uh, yes, correct. Now, you should never, ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very... What Mr Old Elf is trying to say is that you should never, ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very sick. Indeed. So, never, ever eat a toadstool. Yes, wise old elf. I wonder what pet Nanny has magicked up for Daisy and Poppy. As long as it's small, I don't care. Ahem. May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin. A rat! No, Your Majesty. Pippin is a lovely little hamster. How sweet! <laughs> Pippin likes you, Daddy. <coughs> oh, it is cute, isn't it? Cute isn't quite the word I had in mind. <laughs> I think it'd be um happier if it lived outside. Very well. Back! Back, Pippin! <laughs> They're fine as long as you don't show you're afraid. Back, Pippin. Back, Pippin. Back. There, Pippin. Welcome to the courtyard, your new home. I hope Pippin won't be bored living here. We'll give Pippin some toys. And hamsters like lots of straw. Can we give Pippin something to eat, Nanny? Foodie, foodie. Yes. And a drink. <laughs> Aww. That should make Pippin feel at home. Ah! Why is the courtyard full of straw? It's for your hamster, Your Majesty. My hamster? <laughs> it's funny. The courtyard looks just like a hamster cage. Yes, very amusing. Why does it have to run about so much? Hamsters like running about. Phew. For a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency! Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Magic spells, away you go! It worked! Hooray! Hooray! Nanny, where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic, and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. But Nanny, you said fairies don't eat elf food. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Princess Holly. We can have a nice time without a picnic. Let's sit and enjoy the view. Mmm, yummy. <coughs> I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Hmm. I don't believe I've ever eaten elf food before. Would you like to try some, King Thistle? Oh, thank you, Ben. Yum, yum. Mmm. Elf food is delicious. It really is. Nanny Plum, you must try some. Oh, very well, Your Majesty, seeing as it's a royal command. And here's another royal command. When you have a fairy picnic, always take an elf. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Gaston! Are you coming out to play? <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Come on, let's fly! <laughs> hey, wait for us! Come on, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Yee-haw! <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> yes, we can! <laughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. Gaston, fetch! <laughs> Here, Gaston. <laughs> Clever, Gaston. Well done. Gaston, do you want to wiggle your legs? OK, on to your back. <laughs> Wiggle your legs. <laughs> Gaston loves rolling on his back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> now we can harvest a tomato. Carry on. Right o. <laughs> tomato. Dangerous. It is. That's why we wear these hard hats. But there's another job that's really dangerous. Ooh, what's that? Can I see? It can be quite scary. I'm not afraid. It is possibly the most dangerous job in the world for an elf. What is it? Collecting eggs. What's so dangerous about collecting eggs? Chickens. Wow, they're big, aren't they? Yes, that's why we have this high fence. And why it's very important to lock this gate. <laughs> Ooh, exciting! Wait, <laughs> Princess Holly! These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh, dear. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho, lift ho, lift, 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 lift. Catch ho, catch, catch ho, catch, 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 catch. But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow, I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Wow! Look at that tree! There are little windows in it. I wonder if there are any fairies inside. Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> 
Fishing is a tricky business. You must have the right type of bait. What kind of bait are we using today? Stale bread. Stale bread? Who likes stale bread? Should we put some butter on it, Dad? And jam? Yes. We're not going to catch anything with stale bread, old boy. Stick a bit of jam on it. Stop! I'm the captain, so while we're aboard Bunty, we do what I say. Aye, aye, aye captain. captain! Now be quiet. Fish don't like noise. Very bossy, isn't he? This is so exciting. Shh, everybody. Now we wait. Are you sure this is right? Of course I'm sure. Come on, let me have a go. Fine, you'll see. It takes time to catch a fish. I've caught a fish. Holly, grab the net. Get ready to catch it. Well done, Daddy. Wow, it's big. It's a whopper, all right. And I caught it. It's only a little tiddler. It must be the biggest fish in the lake. It's too small. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. I've seen bigger. Much, much bigger. Really? Really. It was many years ago when I first met Big Bad Barry. Big Bad Barry? Who's that? Only the biggest, hugest, most giganticest fish the world has ever seen. No! It was a dark and stormy night. I was out sailing in my favourite boat, Hilda, when I first saw Big Bad Barry. I knew straight away I had to catch him. I had to be the fisherman who took him home for the biggest fish dinner in history. I tried several different baits before I found what Barry liked. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese. I put a bit of cheese on the line, and Barry was hooked straight away. The only thing was, he was stronger than my old boat Hilda was. Bad Barry dragged my poor boat Hilda all over the lake. And when he'd finished that, he ate her. I've an idea. Take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lifts up! Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map! The X is at the river. Let's go! <laughs> Wait for me! We're back where we started. Where is the treasure? Uncle, what does the riddle say? Ahem. <clears throat> Up and down and side to side, it's inside this thing I really hide. The ship goes up and down. And it goes side to side. Yes, yes the, the ship. ship! So that's where the treasure is. That's right. You worked it out. Here it is, me hearties. Oh. Thanks for your help in finding me treasure. But we're back where we started. And the treasure was here all the time. But didn't we have fun? Aye, Captain, Captain Redbeard. Redbeard. I certainly enjoyed it. I suppose it was fun, in a way. Fun is what it's all about when you're an elf pirate. And I'm an elf pirate! <laughs> <laughs> and now, I must return to the distant waters. Goodbye, Uncle Redbeard. Goodbye, Barnaby. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Hoist the mainsail, Polly. Weigh anchor. Scrub the decks. Ah, pieces of eight. Let's get the ship underway. <laughs> When I grow up, I want to be a pirate. Aha! Me too! And me! And me! <laughs> <laughs> You'll be seeing me again! Don't forget the name! Redbeard! The Elf Pirate! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Nächstes Mal. <lacht>